So I'm not too sure what's wrong with this duck. Uh, I came out here and I found a duck like this. Um, oh, now it's going close to my line. I promise I didn't do anything to the duck. I just came out here and I saw this duck. He's shaking. I don't know what to do. I've tried picking him up, but every time I try to pick him up, he gets he starts spazzing out, and so I don't want to do that and keep stressing him out. Um, the only thing I can do is just look out for him and hope that he gets better. But I don't know what happened to him. It looks like he injured uh, his uh, left side of the body. So something really bad must have happened to him. Hey buddy, how you doing? You thought you could finesse me. You thought you could finesse me. Let's get this hook out. He's just a little guy. Goodbye, friend. There he goes. Goodbye, buddy. Today is not looking good, guys. I, I checked my 10 gallon tank. Whatever this plant is, is doing good, but where's my beta fish? So, I don't know where my beta fish went, but I'm gonna assume that he's in the filter right now. Oh my god, I'm so relieved, guys. Okay, so he was in the filter. I don't know how he got into the filter. It's probably because of the air stone and the bubbles. They pushed him up into the filter. But luckily, he's okay. Here, after I'm done doing a water change for my other tanks, I'll go ahead and unplug this. Let me show you guys what I'm doing right now. So right now, I'm just cleaning up my tank. And my fish are freaking out. My largemouth bass, he's getting big. Peacock getting big. Tarpon turning into a monster. He's freaking out right now. Catfish turning into a monster. All of these fish are growing huge. And before anybody complains or says something stupid about me keeping these fish, pretty much saying I can't keep these fish forever, let me tell you guys something. I will be rehoming this fish when I feel like they are no longer suitable to be living in this aquarium. So please stop worrying about these fish being big and me keeping them long term. I'm not going to be keeping these fish forever so please guys stop with the lame comments alright. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a quick water change. The reason why I'm doing a water change is because the allergy that I put in here is uh, getting eaten and dude what do you want? Why do you keep trying to get my attention? What is it that you want, man? I just fed you. Okay. Anyways, so I know I was supposed to release this video a few days ago, but please forgive me. I now have baby largemouth bass fry. In my tank, I have about 11 of them, I believe. They're really small. I've been trying to figure out what to feed these guys. I've threw in flakes and blood worms, but they haven't gone for that. So what I've done now is I have made some food for them. It's not ready yet, but it's in the process. So usually when you have small fish that are babies that are in their fry stage, you want to give them baby brine shrimp. That's like the best thing you can feed your fish. Um, it takes some time for the eggs to hatch, but it's really easy to do. If you guys want to know how to hatch sea monkeys or baby brine shrimp, you can click on the card at the top right hand corner. Um, but the baby brine shrimp is not ready yet. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about because some of you guys might not be familiar with baby brine shrimp. So this is what hatching baby brine shrimp looks like. So pretty much what it is, is you have a glass container you have some aquarium salt, some dechlorinated water, and you have baby brine shrimp eggs. And you throw them in all together, and then what you wanna do is you wanna get an air stone with a airline and hook it up to an air pump, leave it in there for 24 to 48 hours, and baby brine shrimp will hatch. Um, I don't think these guys have hatched yet, but let's go ahead and and take a look because I think there might be some baby brine shrimp. Alright guys, so I don't know if you can see the baby brine shrimp or not, but there they are. Let me just try to get my camera to focus. Alright, there we go. So the little flickers that you see there on the bottom right hand corner, that those are called baby brine shrimp or what most people refer them as sea monkeys. So what I'm gonna do is I have this little suction thing right here. You can use like a turkey baster and I'm gonna scoop these guys out. So let's go ahead and do that.
Alright guys, so I got my food right here. You're not going to be able to see the baby brine shrimp now, but I promise they are in there. They're actually all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, there's my baby largemouth bass. There's one there. There's two right here. Look how cute they are. Let's see if they'll eat the baby brine shrimp. Alright, so I'm going to try to put this directly in front of one of them. And it looks like he's going for it. Yep, they're going for it. There's no way that these babies are not going to go for the baby brine shrimp. I've never had baby fish not go for baby brine shrimp. Now, I'm sorry, but my camera is not that great. But I promise you, they are going for it. As you can see, he's eating them. Let's just keep a close eye on this guy. Again, I do apologize for my camera not really focusing. Where are these guys going? The food's over here. There we go. Oh, I scared him. Yeah, they're definitely going for that stuff. That one on the right, he's going crazy. Yeah, they definitely love this stuff. So if you guys have baby fish and you guys want to feed them something good that they're going to like, I suggest uh, baby brine shrimp. I'll leave the items down in the description. You guys can check it out for yourself. Now, it is normal if you hatch baby brine shrimp and you give it to your fish and they don't eat it on the first day. It's because they don't know what it is and until they try it then that's when they know as soon as they see it to go after it but this is my first time feeding them baby brine shrimp so they're not gonna go for it right away but here in the next few days they're gonna automatically know that it's food and they're gonna quickly go for it so that's that and I hope these guys grow and I do have a place for these guys whenever they get bigger I don't plan on keeping these guys at all Alright guys, so I actually want to start doing something where I respond to a few positive comments. I won't be doing this every video, but every now and then I really want to recognize some of the people who come to my channel and they are consistently commenting positive things to me and pretty much just making me feel good and they're just really nice and I really want people to recognize them and I really just want to say thank you for the people that are always coming to my videos and just saying nice things. So. Here are some comments that I want to put up and show you guys. All right, guys. So the first comment that we have here comes from Mason Lullianelli. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. I do apologize if I butchered your last name. He says, it's videos like this that get me excited to care for my fish and help them succeed and grow so I can feed them food that nature intended. Love the video and the next one. Peacock looking good, man. Thank you for all the help from the last comment. Hopefully I'll get my guys up to live feed size. Mason, I really appreciate you leaving that positive comment. Anytime you need some help, feel free to leave comments or just email me again. And I'll take the time to give you advice and try to help you to the best of my abilities. Again, thank you, Mason. And I really do appreciate you leaving positive comments for me. It really keeps me motivated and inspired to keep putting out videos for you guys. All right, guys. So the next comment that we have is from Bluegill and Bass Slayer. I really like this person because this person leaves me comments all the time. Every video that I put out, this person is always leaving me a comment. I say this person because I don't know if it's a man or a woman. So I do apologize and I don't want to assume someone's gender. This person always leaves comments. They always say nice things. And honestly, I can't get enough of it. So Bluegill and Bass Slayer, thank you so much for the support. You're a true master. I also want to give a shout out to these people here. These people also leave me comments and they are really nice to me. Thank you to everyone, again, who leaves the who leave these comments. I really appreciate it. You guys really help me boost my confidence level up. You guys, you guys do so much. You know, nowadays people don't really understand how much words really affect people. Sometimes people can say some negative things and really affect someone negatively. And also people can say some really positive things to someone and really affect them 
them positively. If you stuck around to the end and you made it this far, leave a comment down below saying I am a master. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye.